guys, my name is Aaron Grant and I will be teaching you today about stem cell research. The definition of a stem cell is a cell that has the ability to continuously divide and differentiate or develop into various other kinds of cells. Uh, there are actually three different types of stem cells. There's the topototen stem cell which can develop into a whole human being if need be. And this cell can only come from a early stage embryo, which is more than likely gonna be in the two to five day session. Uh, there's the pluripotent stem cell, and that is a cell that can form over 200 different types of cells, or an actual extremity if need be. And the pluripotent stem cell, you're going to find that in some cells of the glioplast, which is actually found in the bone in an adult, but from the fifth, from the seventh to sixteenth day of an early embryo still. And then there's the multipotent stem cell, which is a cell that is differentiated, but can form a number of other tissues. And these multipotent stem cells can be found in fetal tissue, in the cord blood, or in adult stem cells. And it can also be found in bone, as is showed here. Uh, so, how do we get the multipotent stem cell from the bone marrow here? Well, first, you uh, scrape out some of the residue from the inside of the bone where the bone marrow is found, right here, magnified times 300 times right here. The multipotent stem cell will be found in the stronal cell in the bone residue that you previously scraped off. From there, the multipotent stem cell can turn into one of numerous things. Uh, let's see. It can turn into the red blood cell, the esophyseal cell, which is right here, the basophil, which is right here, the neurophil, which is found right here, and, and various other things, various other things. It's, it's cool. Scraping the inside of the bone marrow, residue, mini cells. Second time. Next, sir. Now, there's the, the history of stem cell research. As shown here, the history of stem cell research was started with a court case, a Supreme Court ruling called Ray, uh, Roe versus Wade, which was settled in January 2nd, 1972, three, sorry, uh, and another really important date in the history of stem cell research was 1997, which was the identification of the human embryonic stem cell. Now there are various possible uses uses for stem cell technology. One being a stem cell could grow and then replace another tissue or organ. Another would be would be to repair a defective cell type from a stem from the body. Another possible use of stem cell technology would be to deliver genetic therapies to a patient after a transplant or surgery, major surgery. And then the third possible, or fourth possible use would be the, the, the delivery of chemotherapeutic agents, which could be any agent used to treat cancer or cancerous diseases. There are a few challenges to stem cell use also. There's, uh, stem cells need to be differentiated 
to the appropriate cell type before they can be used clinically. So really what that means is before a stem cell can be 